hello you're welcome to my channel once again this is uh, all round solutions a channel that provides you with tips on day-to-day of -day, uh, uh, challenges we encounter with our machines any form of challenges that is somehow technical this channel is is it, it provides solutions to all the challenges you may be thinking that are computer based are technical challenges you're welcome today i want to show you uh, i don't know for uh, kiosera um users that have kiosera machines like this is a kiosera um what's it well, it's a 31 i think um 1035 it's a three in one um it's a three in one uh, uh, machine it, it has okay yes look at it fs 1035 mp nfp look at it that this is the model of the accuser now um you, you if you are using this machine and you are encountering this problem that is showing you non-genuine toner any button you press here will never respond to be making this annoying annoying sound and you may not be able to use it to do anything because of this so if you are encountering this don't worry all round solutions is here to to provide us uh, or prefer solutions to show you the tips what and what you just need to do to get rid of this this so what you need to do if you encounter this, since you, any button you press here will not work, any button you press will be made. It will be making one, one annoying sound like that. So if you press, if you if you encounter such, even if you open the toner, like what what happens? I open my toner, and then I try to, I remove the toner. I shook it, try to I clean it back. I clean it, and then return it back. But it still never worked. It's still showing non-genuine toner. Toner. Praise help. That's why it keeps showing me, and that's what likely is showing you. So if you, if you are facing this no problem, I'm going to show you the tips. Now what you need to do is look at this uh, red button. Red button. Look at stop. You're going to press stop and then look at this okay i don't know where your okay your okay button may be i don't know the type of machine the model of your machine but any 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 machine you're using any of them that is a kyocera product what you need to do is to just press your press your finger on this top button this red button or any button i don't know what color yours may be but just press your finger on the stop button and then press another finger on the ok button you're going to press the two of them at the same time and then after that you're going to hold it hold the two buttons for 10 to 12 15 seconds so when you press it correctly you'll be hearing you will be, you'll be hearing a sound can you hear the sound now you just press the stop button and then the ok button simultaneously and then you hold it for 10 to 10 to 15 seconds now when you are done remove your finger and then you see it has disappeared now see which is showing ready to copy unlike the way it was written before it was reading it was reading um uh, non-genuine toner but now it's reading is is showing ready to copy it. so let's try let's try um photocopying for example let's assume we have put something and i want to photocopy and here it's scanning and it's processing it it's going to print it out so this is how to solve the problems 
of uh, of uh, non genuine uh, non genuine toner on Kyocera. Kyocera, any of them, but I'm using eleven. Sorry, FS ten fifty ten thirty five MFP. Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe to our, uh, my channel to to be if you subscribe to my channel you'll be the first to know anytime i update new v uh, upload new videos thank you please subscribe 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 thank you for subscribing thank you thank you thank you thank you bye